Summary of the Last of the Mohicans by James Fenimore Cooper The Last of the Mohicans takes place in 1757 in what is now upstate New York, near Saratoga Springs, during the French and Indian War. At the beginning, a young English major named Duncan Hayward is to help Cora and Alice Monroe, daughters of Colonel Monroe, journey from General Webb's Fort Edward to call Monroe's Fort William Henry. This group is led by Magua, who used to be an Iroquois or Mingo but now works with the Delaware and the English. The band heads to Fort William Henry. On the way, they meet a Christian song singer called David and get lost. Hayward sees a scout named Hawkeye, also known as Natty Bumpo, and two Mohicans named Uncas and Chingachgook. Hawkeye says he is a man without a cross, and Uncas and Chingachgook are connected to the Delawares. Hayward asks them how to get to the fort. Hawkeye thinks it's strange that Magua, a Native American runner, would get lost in the woods. When he confronts Magua, Hawkeye makes him run away and leave the band. Hawkeye, Uncas, and Chingachgook agree to stay with the group for the rest of the way and try to keep them safe from attacks by the Mingo or Huron. But when the group hides in a cave and runs out of ammo, Hawkeye, Uncas, and Chingachgook leave to tell General Webb, and Magua and a group of Hurons take Hayward, Alice, Cora, and David. Magua wants Cora to marry him, but Cora says no. Magua then tries to kill the rest of the band, but Hawkeye, Uncas, and Chingachgook, who have just come back from their planned retreat, kill his Huron friends. All of the band members are saved, but all of the Hurons except for Magua are killed. Magua runs away north of Lake George, and the rest of the band follows him. They end up at Fort William Henry, where Monroe is happy to see them. The French, led by Marquis de Montcalm, have been trying to take over Monroe's fort. Monroe has been trying to hold out, but when he finds out that General Webb won't help him, he gives the fort to Montcalm. Montcalm tells Monroe that it will be safe for the English troops, women, and children to get from the fort back to their other camps. But Montcalm doesn't do enough to stop Magua and other Hurons from killing a lot of English people as they leave the fort. Monroe, Hawkeye, Hayward, Uncas, and Chingachgook kill a lot of Hurons, but they don't catch Magua. He gets away with Alice and Cora and goes back to his Huron town, where David is after him. The group splits up. Hayward and Hawkeye go underground to save Alice from the Hurons, and Hawkeye goes back to save Uncas, who has also been taken by the Hurons. Magua has kept Cora in a Delaware town next door as a way to ease tensions between his group and the Delawares. But Cora still won't marry Magua. Tainund, the leader of the Delaware tribe, says that Cora is Magua's legal prisoner and that she must marry him. But Tainund also says that the Delawares have nothing against Uncas, who is from the Delaware line, or with his friends Hawkeye, Hayward, and Alice. After Tainund lets Magua and Cora leave the Delaware village in peace, Uncas takes Hawkeye, Hayward, and a group of Delawares in a final fight with Magua. After Cora finally tells Magua she doesn't want to marry him, Huron kills her. Magua kills Uncas, and Hawkeye kills Magua with Kildeer. At the end of the book, Cora and Uncas's funerals are held together. Chingachgook, Hawkeye, Hayward, Alice, and Monroe all attend, bringing together Native and British societies in their sadness over the deaths of the young people. Tainun says that the line of Mohican fighters has come to an end because Uncas was Chingachgook's only son. About the author James Fenimore Cooper was from a long line of Quakers who came from England to the northeastern United States. He grew up in an upper-middle-class home on the shores of Lake Otsego in Cooperstown, New York, a town that was planned and built by his father. In his teens, Fenimore Cooper went to Yale, but he didn't finish because he broke the school's rules and was kicked out. After a few years in the U.S. Navy, he inherited his family's wealth and moved back to New York City and Cooperstown. Fenimore Cooper started writing after his wife, Susan, gave him a dare to see if he could write a better book than one she liked. In 1820, Fenimore Cooper's first book, Precaution, which was his answer to this dare, came out. The first Deerslayer or Leatherstocking book came out in 1823. It was called The Pioneers and was about Natty Bumpo's travels. The Last of the Mohicans, Fenimore Cooper's most famous book, came out in 1826. 
Three more Deerslayer books came out after that. Cooper also wrote nonfiction, such as a book about the past of the U.S. Navy. He was considered the first great American writer. He died at the age of 62. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.